Mr. Lakey with news announcements for St. John, Kansas, and Maxville, Kansas, on Cable Channel 3, and sandylandcenter.org. And uh, the first thing to say is that we've had a lot of fun here at Cable Channel 3, uh, because every time the electricity goes off, uh, we have troubles with our equipment, and we have to do a lot of running around to get it going. So this is either the second or third time in a row that we've had the cable uh, TV that we can't get to, uh, and uh, we're working on it as, uh, as we speak. Uh, we do want to say, though, today is Wednesday, the 29th of July, and it will be, it's a wonderful 77 degrees at the noontime here in the square, and it was even nicer this morning. But we have all kinds of excitement to look forward to. Uh, today we should have scattered thunderstorms later in the day. Uh, the high temperature today will be 85, and there's a 60% chance of some more rain. Now, we got a lot of thunder and lightning last night, and a little bit of rain, so hopefully we'll get some more rain and less thunder and lightning uh, this afternoon and this evening. And then tomorrow in the morning, we're looking for more thunderstorms, and uh, the high temperature for the day will be 86, and there's a 60% chance of uh, rain or thunder tomorrow morning. Then we have uh, Friday, partly cloudy and 91. You see the temperature sneaking back up there. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday are all sunny. <clears throat> 93 Saturday, uh, 94 Sunday, and 96 on uh, Monday. So we haven't escaped being in the 90s, but at least that's better than being in the 100s. And for the first few days, we'll be in the 80s. Happy birthday today to Esther Starr. Happy birthday tomorrow to Carol and Mix. We hope you have great birthdays. And as usual, toward the end of the month, uh, we don't have next month's uh, trips and announcements. But we do have some. The Farm and Art Market is uh, tomorrow, Thursdays from 5 to 7 in the east part of the square. And uh, so they'll have uh, farm produce and artworks that you can buy that people have done. And uh, there's no fee for uh, having items to sell or to buy, but uh, they do want people who are selling things to go to the county courthouse annex and pick up a set of the regulations of what you can sell. I think they worry about somebody that might sell a food product that's not legal to be sold unless you have a super kitchen or something. Anyway, uh, we go on. Uh, the one trip, or the one announcement for the Recreation Commission that's left is August 3rd. On Monday, Hamburger and the Trimming, sponsored by the St. John Hudson Recreation Commission. And that's at 6 o'clock. And generally there is something uh, that's there, particularly for seniors, every first Monday of the month. So that'll be the one for this Monday. And the hamburgers are going to be done by the Rec Commission and the trimmings, but if you would bring a salad or a dessert when you come, that would help augment the hamburgers. <coughs> now, we also have our menus. <coughs> so at the Sunflowers today, they're having baked fish and macaroni and cheese. Now, uh, tomorrow, barbecued pork chops and potato salad, and then uh, Friday will be turkey, parmesan, meatloaf. That doesn't make sense to me, but anyway, turkey, meatloaf, and whipped sweet potatoes. And if it were me, I would say make sure you get there Thursday for the barbecued pork chops. That sounds like a great treat. Then we have uh, for 
our friends in the VIP center in Maxfield, Chef Salad. I'm sorry, that was Monday. We have baked fish filet today and baked potato. And again, tomorrow, I like their menu is uh, the best of the week, will be Thursday, roast beef with gravy and mashed potatoes. How can you beat that? Then we've got grilled chicken and tomato sauce with spaghetti noodles for Friday. And uh, that's all the news and announcements. We had all kinds of excitements around here in St. John, with lightning starting fires and uh, everybody's animals being frightened. And uh, so uh, it's an interesting week. Well, the word of the day is this. If you are not so close to God as you once were, you don't have to wonder who it was that moved. I think most of us think about being more close to God when we see all the thunder and lightning. Anyway, this is Jim Lakey, and I hope you have a great Wednesday.